absolutely elated today. Um, you're absolutely right, you know, it's, uh, it's been an eight year project um, and I pay tribute to former leader, Councillor Terry O'Neill, you know, who had this vision for Times Square and regenerating our town centre. And um, it's been a long journey, sometimes difficult. Um, you know, we've had a big story with the market, demolishing the old market, moving into a temporary market and now into here. And you, you just see it. Um, it's state of the art, contemporary market. It has a real big town feel about it. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely convinced that it'll be a big hit for Warrington and, and will draw people from miles around. And you can see there's obviously a lot of focus on the food court, but there's quite a traditional offer as well. Do you think that's the way forward for markets now to have that balance? Uh, I do, yeah. And I think, to be fair, I think National Market Traders Federation recognises that. You know, um, markets aren't just about um, the, the tradition and, and the kind of draw for, for older clients, really, and customers. Um, it's making it relevant to modern society. It's making it attractive to young people and giving them something that they'll want to come uh, to the market for. So it's not just about the food. We've also got um, some traditional traders, but also a lot of contemporary things as well. You know, um, for example, uh, comics and magazines. You know, we've got hairdressers in here, tattooists, etc. You know, there's a lot here in Warrington Market that uh, is there as an offer for generations. So. Are you quite concerned that there still might be quite a lot of people who will be quite worried about venturing out into the town centre due to the pandemic? I think that will happen. Um, I don't think it's just about the market, it's about um, uh, reopening up all society really. What we've done here is work really hard to make sure it's COVID secure. Yeah, we want um, uh, customers to come here and feel safe in the arrangements that are in place. And then um, you've seen that with uh, a one-way entry and an exit system. You've seen it with the social distancing measures um, here in the food court. So um, I, you know, I can say with confidence that it's safe for residents to come here. And you've seen today, it's been uh, it's been really incredibly busy. Uh, people are certainly voting with their feet today, coming in, having a look, um, and just see how busy the food court has been. You know, I think it's going to be a real hit.